Hello everybody, Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today I'll be showing you all through the logs how to find out the device has entered the rescue party mode. Okay, so before moving on to the actual topic, uh, on the eve of completing 100 videos, I have made one uh, important change uh, in the way of presentation. At the end of every video, I will ask one Android question. So from here onwards, the every video I I will do uh, at the end of every video there will be one question uh, related to Android um, topic so uh, which helps you all in increasing the Android knowledge again so yeah uh, today we will see what is rescue party uh, logs uh, uh, so in one of my session I had actually uh, explained the concept of rescue party okay what is this rescue party the device will enter the rescue party mode when there is continuous boot loops okay there are two conditions under which the device will enter into rescue party mode one condition is that um, any uh, when any of the uh, system application crashes for more than five times in 30 seconds the device will enter rescue party mode second condition is that when the system server uh, restarts for more than five times okay that time rescue party mode is entered so why this uh, rescue party mode is entered because uh, factory data reset option will be provided from which we can recover the device so whenever uh, we all know whenever the boot uh, sequence happens uh, system server is the first component to be started and system server will start uh, other components one by one right uh, different managers like activity manager power manager uh, battery camera calendar calculator etc so when the system server itself is unable to be uh, started uh, the boot loop will happen that means the device will not boot up okay there will be boot loop so that is one condition in which the rescue party mode will be entered so that uh, the user will be prompted to this screen whatever screen you are able to see user will be prompted here and factory data reset has to be done so when the data reset has done uh, the device will be uh, like a, a fresh device out of box device and it will start working as usual so the another condition is that whenever any system application crashes more than five times in 30 seconds so system server will try to start some application but that application is unable to start it is crashing continuously that is another case where the boot loop will occur and rescue party mode will be entered so uh, here are the logs uh, where I wanted to show you all here in my uh, case the camera service is not starting okay there is crash in the camera service continuously which is why see the system server is trying to start camera service okay uh, but camera is not running you all can see failure starting system services in uh, com android server camera camera server it is not uh, starting it's not uh, being enabled okay there is error in uh, starting the camera so it will keep trying system server will keep trying to start camera again and again and we can see the same uh, crash again and again okay it will it's, it's trying but camera is not coming up so that's why we can see all these logs fatal exception there is runtime exception there is failure to start camera service again system server is trying again there is failure in starting the camera service so this happens for multiple times after which the android operating system will decide yes uh, this is taking in the continuous boot loops and i have to uh, make my device enter into rescue party mode where the user can do factory reset and all the data will be erased the device will act as a new fresh device and everything will start working fine so uh, i have explained the concept of rescue party and its different uh, information i have provided in previous session this logs i just wanted to show you all like the exact crash and where the camera service is crashing that is why uh, the device is entering into uh, rescue party mode so that was a simple uh, session uh, so that was a simple session about rescue party logs where i just wanted to tell uh, 
where exactly the crash is happening from the logs how will you come to know rescue party mode is entered so coming to today's question uh, these questions will help you all brainstorm on android knowledge so every uh, video at the end of every video i will add one question from now onwards so today's question is what are the different languages used in android development okay we all know android uh, app development and framework is mostly developed in java so java is the like uh, most uh, basic uh, language it's like the base which is used in android uh, framework and uh, android application layer apart from java now kotlin is blooming uh, kotlin most of them are using kotlin to uh, develop android framework framework and android applications also so people are learning kotlin and yes that's growing now uh, apart from that the native libraries and the kernel everything is written in c uh, c++ and c okay so c and c++ are used in the kernel layer and the native libraries few of the native uh, layers are also written in c sharp uh, we use python to uh, write uh, uh, concepts which include machine learning and Um, artificial intelligence when we uh, use in our android device we use python and for some of the layouting and formatting we use html language so these are the different languages which are used in android development so that's all uh, about today's session i'll meet you all in my next session with a new question and a new topic until then everyone stay tuned bye take care